welcome to episode 7 of The Engine Room, brought to you by Defender. Wow. Joined here by two absolute legends, Warrior 319 and Warrior 341. Bino, does that take you back to the army? Dog tags? Uh, it does Just a little bit, yeah. Called by number. That's how we refer to each other around here, isn't it? By our numbers. It is, yeah. Do people call you 341? Hi, Ryan. How are you today? <laughs> Hey, Lewis, I'm very well. Thank you for asking. But no, seriously, we are with Lewis Bean, in case you don't know who he is, and Lucio Sor... Sardoni. 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 I don't ever want to get it wrong. Bino, start with you, mate. Corporal Bean, um, talk to us about your first experience of the club, Bino. Yeah, I walked in and uh, was greeted by Bobby Harley. Uh, and then shortly by, I think you greeted me at one point. Uh, I think you was Skipper back then. Um, Those were the days. But no, the, uh, it was good. I was opened up with welcome arms and uh, it was good, good to meet the boys in a, in a different culture. And I was surprised that it wasn't full of people in kilts running around with blue face paint. Eating uh, haggis. Eating haggis and yeah, that's what I thought Scotland would be like, but it's completely not. No, I do remember um, one of your first training sessions actually. <laughs> and when we did the line out session. Yes, I remember, yes. Yeah, tell us, tell us a little story about that. Yeah, so basically we were going through the lineouts and I I didn't do my research or I didn't really know any who anyone was and uh, Richie Gray was uh, explaining a lineup move and obviously I didn't know who he was and his name so I stopped the lineup session and said, excuse me mate, sorry I don't know you, um, can you explain to me what this lineup move was called? And then and I, you asked him his name? And then I asked him his name, yeah, I said, sorry I'm Lewis, what's your name? And then at this point, the whole line out unit session just erupted and burst out laughing and crying and whatnot and was like, this is Richie Greer, the British and Irish Lion, Scottish International. But I, I just thought it was just a man found in the hills. Mate, it's, not, it's not the first time. <laughs> Franco, <laughs> Franco did it to him as well. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we'll come back to you, Lucio, Mr. Yes. George. Yes. Talk to us about your experience. You came here, obviously, on a short-term deal to start with and then just signed your two-year deal. I'm really happy to be here, to be part of this family for the next two seasons. Uh, I come here just for the precision to cover uh, an injury. And I find here a big team, big family, uh, massive guys, uh, really friendly. I find, I find uh, a lot of friends here. Uh, obviously the Archies, I feel really good with, with the Archies here. I had a bad, exper bad experience in Australia. I was alone, it was tough for me, and now it's, it's, I feel like home, I feel with my family. There's only a couple Australians here, I've seen you dodging them. No, no, yeah, no, yeah not just good. in case. Um, but yeah, so obviously you were welcomed in by the Argentinians. You knew them well before, before yeah, you came yeah, here? Yeah, yeah, I played with them in Jaguares and Pumas. Uh, uh, I, I had a really a big relationship with us. Uh, we are friends many years. We, I, I know Domingo 10 years ago. We played in uh, different teams, a lot of trips. And it's a take care with this guy. You know him a lot. Yeah, I know him very well now. Yeah. Um, but that's that's amazing. Come uh, three arches more in the in the team for me. That's, that's like my family. Talking about the accent then, you know, when you first got it, yeah. did you find it difficult to understand a lot of people? Uh, I mean, you're a little, you're not too far away in Yorkshire. Yeah, no, I was fine, to, uh, yeah, fine understanding people. Uh, to be fair, I thought people were going to be a lot more Scottish. Because all the lads at my old club were like, they train in Celts and all sorts. So I was, like I said, I was expecting some, <laughs> some, some ropey things. But so uh, what differences do you reckon there are between here and Northampton then? Because that's where you came from, wasn't it? Uh, uh, not many, really. I'd say the food's a bit better at Northampton. Yeah, um, okay. <laughs> but apart from that, no. You reckon the boys are a little bit more brutal down there? Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, in terms of banter and culture, yeah, definitely. I think the boys, I think there's a more, I think that's just a, an English, obviously being yourself, I think it's just well, English Scottish culture, yeah. Scottish. Oh, well, sorry. But, uh, yeah, everyone back home is a lot more savage of people, yeah, and the banters are really personal and harsh, where here I think sometimes it's 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 not. So moving on to that. Biggest don't when you join a new club. We had um, this upstairs, didn't we, recently? We had this upstairs recently. I'd say uh, taking other players' foods is not a good one. We had a lad um, 
Oh, uh, yeah, you make it sound like he stole off someone's plate. Well, no, there was a... There was a <laughs> how, what did he, what so did he take? Because I love how you explain yeah, it. What did so he take? Basically, it's a, he took two bread cakes <laughs> instead of one. And you know what, uh, Lucio, you know what a bread cake is? Yeah. What? I don't know, but... <laughs> 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 but he's talking about the food. Yeah, yeah but yeah. He, he says the bread cake. Is it strange, but it's yeah, like what a is bread. It? Yeah, it's a bread, yeah. It's yeah. A, it's well, a why bread cake? Why yeah. cake? Well, I don't know, it's just, an, it's just a northern thing. So back in Yorkshire, you'd say, can I get a bread cake? Yeah, and so to, so for me to translate that, it, it was a roll. A yeah. bread roll. Bread roll, yeah, but for, for where I'm from, it's called a bread cake. So this so new t- lads turns <laughs> up, is, I, I call him Rango. I call him something else. Tom Bantafala, one of the young academy. Yeah. Guys. Um, he came up, I think it was like his first day, and he paraded himself through the kitchen where we with two bread cakes on his plate, and that didn't go down very well. No, because you only take one bread roll in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, no, you yeah, remember, take one bread one roll. Yeah, play, uh, one play, yeah. <laughs> take two off the bat. And obviously, if there's bread cakes left over once everyone's been through, then yeah, you <laughs> feel free to go help yourself. Louis, Louis is so hungry about that. Yeah, very, very, very angry, not angry. hungry. No, Hang- angry too yeah, but you need to pronounce early. your ah, angry. Yeah, angry because it's too early, he needs breakfast, but he's angry too, oh. <laughs> both. Um, so you reckon that's a big no-no, don't take two bread cakes. I'll put two bread cakes. Oh, okay, here's one. So you obviously you get up and, I don't know, you must have done this. I don't know whether you did it. They've changed it a bit, but we used to Selfish. get everyone up at the front and they had to give them something about themselves that we don't know, a nickname. Um, yes. Did you have to do that? Yeah. And what was your? Did you give your nickname? Did yeah, you have a nickname? I, I have a nickname when I was a, when I was a child. Someone someone told me a Gordini because he's a fat boy but the smaller. A little small fat boy. It's like yeah, it's like when I, when I was a child many years ago, and my friends take the the, the bag of the nickname and say call me Dini, Dini Dini, and all using this nickname because mm. Lucio it's like too long it's not funny or it's not no, it's strong, friendly like strong name. Lucio it's so Dini. Dini no one calls you that though do they no, nobody no, no. no one calls no, you no, yeah, anyone right. give you any nicknames yet no loose just a lot of people call Just you loose. loose yeah because no one no one's no but in Argentina no no one call me loose it doesn't exist yeah. just Mr. George and Dini Mr. George that's good Mr. George and Dini. Bean, what about you? I'm not sure about nickname, but I know it's kind of leading on to that. You know when they ask you for like an exciting subject or a story about yourself? Yeah. I wish I'd said I'd like climbed Everest or, do you know what I mean? Just made made it made, 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 made the best lie up ever. Yeah. Um, but I didn't, which I'm, but if I could go back in time, I'd make I a cool I think we story. should go back to that, you know, uh, what is it two truths, one lie? Yeah. <laughs> that'd you be should good. do that. Yeah, that'd be you good. You understand that one? So they tell two lies. Mm-hmm. Uh, what is it? Two, two truths. Two, two truths? No, 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 but it's not. It's yeah, you do two truths and then you do one lie. And I you thought it was the other way around. Do you not do two well, lies, one truth? I don't know. You're going to get the same outcome, I think. So we should actually do that, shouldn't we? Should we should do that. It'd be so much better. It would. So, people, what is Franco like to work with? Uh, who wants to take that one first? Uh, Lucio, I'll let you start. Okay. Talking about Franco, uh, I arrived with him. Uh, I think it's it's a tough coach. It's a good coach. Maybe I couldn't understand a lot of what when he talked because his English is a little bit close. Yeah, uh, and for me it's tough. Uh, but I I like I like it because he is too involved in the scrum in the malls. I, I like I like too much. And Bino, difference from other coaches you had? He works quite hard, do you reckon? Yeah, I think he's very enthusiastic. Um, like he says, he can he can talk a lot and sometimes you don't understand everything. But I think um, <laughs> I think wh- when he gets here, his English will obviously get better. But in terms of his coaching ability, he's obviously obviously knows his stuff. And I like his passion. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? He's very, like, obviously passionate about what he the club and what he wants us to do on the pitch which I think I think's good uh, obviously he's took a bit of a, a step back from the from the forwards kind of stuff so I think it's good that the, some of the players take that um, but yeah he's alright it's good he's um, it's very approachable before, yeah well yeah you know he is and before people worry that we're taking the mick out of he even says listen my English is my 
what, third, fourth language. Third, he yeah, obviously, yeah. Afrikaans is his first, and I think, it's guessing good. he was fluent in Italian. Italian yeah. We haven't tested on his, in Italian yet. Have you, can you speak a bit of Italian? Spanish, Italian, same thing, isn't it? On the podcast. See. Si. Um, <laughs> you, can, so then, you can speak. Yeah, no, I can. I can speak Spanish, yeah, Italian, Spanish, Italian, Fijian, French, Fijian, and too. English. Oh, bro, that's much yeah, amazing. It's quite impressive. Um, yeah. But he even jokes about, I mean, how, how funny is some of his spelling on the board? Oh, <laughs> that was so funny. It's the, he didn't even try to write straight. No. It's like... He puts the first, he put the first letter up and then he'll just squiggle the rest of it. Yeah. Defence, D, and then just like squiggle all the thing. Uh, and then taps on it, defence. And I that's probably why you're struggling. You're going, what does this say? I think at the end of the season, we should try and get that clip, that paper ball I that's was, was going to try and get it, yeah. And then we should actually like just keep it and because that'll be gold. Go back through it. Obviously, in terms of training, Lucio, you haven't been here uh, last year, but in terms of the difference in training, talk to us a little bit about that being, I'll be able to chip in where it needs to be, but compared to last season, where we probably loaded the back end of the week. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit on his training methods this year. Yeah, so this year uh, we kind of do the majority of our training uh, at the beginning of the week. So uh, normally where Mondays, I, I know we still do clarity, which is like a walkthroughs for, uh, for the viewers, but we do a, a quite a big rugby session on a Monday as well. So today would be our speed day. So we like to get, uh, he says he likes to go, what is it, 5K? 5k a day or something like that minimum minimum yeah <laughs> that's that's a that's a the standard he wants to get us at so we do hard days training monday hard days train tuesday and then we kind of uh like tailor off like you said at the, the back end of the week you like it this way lucio it's pretty tough maybe because we run a lot during the week but if the coach say it's the best for us yeah i was unsure of it i did worry about monday but um I'm finding it all right. I'm finding it all right. I feel pretty but fit. But you look very good, man. Yeah, but this old chassis just keeps on going. And uh, I've noticed that some of the other elders, <laughs> let's say Richie Gray, gets quite an easy Monday. He doesn't really seem to do a lot of them. A lot on a Monday. Yeah, Fraz is one as well. Old, old Muggins over <laughs> yeah, here. So <laughs> the get his hand knocked in. But no, I feel, I feel like the, uh, pre-season-wise, it's been one of the best pre-seasons I've had. Because obviously, it's been a longer day. We've had a lot more in there. Uh, so for me, it's like I feel so much fitter uh, and stronger. So uh, yeah, you so look, I, you look fit. Thank yeah, you. you do. Hopefully, you've enjoyed episode seven of the Engine Room, brought to you by Defender. Let us know who you want to see next. Wow.